Last week, I was on a pitch with my team at FTA, and one of the gentlemen from the client side, they mentioned that uh, Sandel AI is just a predictor, right? It learns from the web, and then it keeps on predicting the word to word, which is fairly true in some extent, you know, where uh, AI keeps predicting the next word. But that statement uh, gets repeated quite a lot in the industry. When people hear it, they jump to another conclusion that they assume. AI optimization must be completely different from SEO but here is the uncomfortable truth if AI optimization was completely different then good SEO should already be failing everywhere but it isn't right many of the people who understand AI search are senior SEOs who have been in the industry for a long time and that is why many experienced SEOs say something very important they say that uh there is no such thing as aeo or llm optimization it is just seo right and they are not wrong to understand why we need to fix a common misunderstanding about seo itself seo stopped being just a simple keyword matching very long time ago i mean way back before 2000 when yahoo uh, was leading the pack it was very easy to rank at that time if you simply add uh, too many keywords stuff you know cloaking it uh, you know the white background and then text is also in white and then people kept stuffing keywords and ultimately uh, it became a very uh, a black hat oriented way so even in the early 2000 right when google during 99 when they were uh, 98 end and 99 when they were actually uh, getting in full throttle Google was already doing more than keyword matching right from the word go right because yahoo was previously doing and then now google they don't uh, again mention about word to word matching what they did was they had something called the page rank algorithm that where you know they were trying to understand the importance of a page through relationships between various pages that is what backlinks is all about now over time google added more and more layers during 2010 11 you i mean some of the seos who been there for a long time they know about the panda penguin updates and post that uh, you know google started also understanding the meaning of the words they started understanding the intent behind the queries and uh, the knowledge graphs the entities uh, you know the topics the context of the particular content so the modern seo was already about meaning right it's not just about the keywords now that is why good seo practices today including things like you know useful content clear structuring of the page internal linking improving the authority uh, the topical authority per se uh, digital pr brand mentions all of that really matters now if you look at the llm optimization tactics also a lot of these are there that's the reason people say there is nothing like llm it's all about seo all of that matters so when people say that when ai optimization uses same things they are right right the inputs are largely the same where the confusion starts is assuming the goal state the same traditional seo even at its most advanced level was still optimizing right for retrieval now can the engine find this page the search engine i mean the google bots can they find this page can it rank this page will the user click on the results so that they land on the page right now ai search changes this last step right because ai does not stop at showing options it tries to decide the answer itself this is where the probability versus reasoning becomes important yes ai works on probability but not in the way most people imagine the model does not randomly guesses words if that is the case uh, uh, you know how will uh, chat gpt able to answer some of your complex questions right now before answering it tries to get into a layer of situation analysis like what is the user actually trying to solve what constraints does it matter in that question that he is asking and what explanation would make the most sense at that conversation in that session now only after that internal understanding then it starts generating the answer so the even generating the answer is in two priorities while thinking it right well it does the answer directly from its memory where like like a wikipedia style question like what is dmat account uh, i don't think for what is dmat account chat gpt or these uh, you know they don't have to do a uh, web research they directly spit out the answer but the moment you mention about which is the best uh, dmat platform for me to open an account this and that and then only it starts getting into the real time the search results and stuff now after all all of these understanding steps it generates an answer 
right that is where probability plays into the picture so probability is how ai chooses what to say reasoning is how it decides what makes sense for the situation now this is why ai search feels different even though the building blocks looks familiar like for example content still matters internal linking matters authority still matters digital pr still matters but the evaluation has changed that's it now seo has asked um, used to ask is this page relevant and authoritative enough to rank right for example for a particular keyword like um, the same example dmat account for dmat account if you look at the search results mostly it will rank what is dmat account it's more like an information oriented now that is what people are trying to understand as per google right so what seos may be doing is they'll try to look at a specific page and see how they can match the intent of that keyword by starting the content with what is dmat account or definition of dmat account and stuff like that now in ai the situation is different here what ai does is can i use this source to explain the answer clearly and confidently now that source could be its internal training data like dmat account definition it will directly pull it out from there or if the user's query is about some real time uh, they want to know a uh, real time list or uh, where they are going to trade then obviously it's going to pick up source from the web now this is a critical shift something strange starts happening here now you can do great seo right you can rank well you can have an authority or in the industry that you are in but chances are you may not get mentioned in the ai answers not because your seo is bad right because your content does not fit into the reasoning path that the ai is building now ai is constantly evaluating things like does this help me explain the situation is this source trustworthy in this context i think this trustworthiness could be matched because if you are a bigger brand obviously you will have a, a wikipedia page or other trustworthy like uh, you would have done a lot of press releases and all the things so that trustworthy layer could get solved but the situation analysis and does your brand belong to that answer that becomes the crucial path if the answer is no then you you will get ignored now that is why many senior seos they feel confused right now they are doing the right things but the outcome looks different so the right way to look at this is not seo versus llm optimization and stuff the right way to see it is seo evolved you know beyond keywords a long time ago right ai search is the next evaluation layer on top of that evaluation now bad seo will never win in ai search now good seo is necessary but it's no longer sufficient now once you see it this way uh, the conversation becomes more clearer right it also explains the biggest mistake people are making next they are treating prompts like better keywords now in the next episode we will break that mistake down and show why prompts are not just long term longer queries you know but instructions to a reasoning system now that is where search engineering really begins see you tomorrow